Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And today I'm going to show how to remove the stock from your buffer tube on basically every tactical butt stock there is. But before we get started, let's uh, do a Trump coffee check. Everybody got your coffee? And then, before we get started on that, I would like to show some of the products that I have added to my site, if any of you, any of you are interested in them. Uh, this one here is the newest item, which is the uh, 52 millimeter stackable uh, tank bands. And I designed this around the M50 and the Pro. Now this will fit the M50, the Pro, the Terminator, the 30 Plus, basically any one of AEA air rifles that have the 52 millimeter tank. Now yes, you're gonna have to do some sanding and filing on the inside to get them to fit your gun because like I said, there is a minute difference between every tank it don't matter if you've got a hundred of them they're all going to have a different measurement so in order to get precise you're going to have to do a little bit of trimming on the inside of it now i've got it narrowed down to where you don't have to work as hard but the fact remains you're still going to have to do it and the finish is made so that you can sand them and paint them or whatever uh, so I've actually taken these and sanded them down and made them nice and smooth and then, uh, use shoe polish, believe it or not, to dye it back to its matte finish. Or you can polish it and wax it and that will make them shine. I'm sure you don't want that. But anyway, this is the stackables and I do let the hardware, all the hardware goes to these. So basically for each Picatinny rail mount, you would mount one of these to it, which is a M lock. Now this one here is the one that's bigger, but basically gives you the idea of what you're gonna be putting on your gun. Uh, the one that goes on this, that I designed this with, was the four inch, which is the nine, nine slot uh, M lock. And I can't hardly uh, supply those with these because then I would have to make the cost more ridiculous than anybody, including myself, would want to pay. So uh, I, I'm trying to keep the cost down on these and it would be cheaper for you to go and buy a set of four for this rail this rail takes three of them and like I said I've got all the set screws in it you got three set screws on each one of them a total of nine for each one of them this will assure that this thing's not going to move and there are nylon set screws then we have a half inch long round cap head screw and all these threads every single one of them are 1032 threads so I've already when you get it these here will already be screwed in there now if you're going to file and sand on your band before you even do anything with Picatinny rails Make sure that you screw these at least halfway out because without the Picatinny rail on it, they some of them do go through. So you don't want to be following the tip of your screw. So just back them out quarter of a turn or quarter of the way out or half out or all the way out, whichever you desire to do, and uh, and then do your filing and sanding. But um, this will come with six M-lock 
mount screws. So uh, I've just ordered a bunch more of them. Uh, I just ordered 50 of them from McMaster Car, and believe me, I paid a lot for those screws. Uh, 30, 36, 37 dollars for 50 of those screws. The screws were 11 dollars and something for 50 of them. The rest of it was shipping. McMaster Car is making a killing off of shipping. They're not selling parts, they're selling shipping. So I have found these on eBay and it's $11 for, oh, let me see, how is that? Uh, it was $35 for 200 of them. So I got 200 of these coming. All right, then we've got the single bottom rail band now these here won't be made no more uh these here are going to be the new standard for the bison workshop the ones with the holes that are uh going this way we want these to look like the ar style so these here are not going to be printed anymore i've got six of the shiny ones and three of the matte ones once they're gone, these here will no, be no longer with the triangles. Um, so if you like the triangle look, you better get them now because they're gonna, they're not gonna be made no more. This is gonna be the new standard. And if you just hold on a minute, I'll show you what I mean by stackable. So now what I mean by stackable is you can take and stack these and you can put three of them on your tank if you choose B. Uh, that gives it the tactical look. You can mount uh, the M-lock rails on each one of them. They will not hit each other. Uh, I've designed this for that because the edge of these comes right to the edge of that. So when you have, let's just imagine I've got two of them here. This is what it will look like when you go to put it on. Just like that. So that's what I mean by stackable. You can stack as many as you want. Now on the 50 cal M M50, I can get three of them on there with about an inch left. So that's that's the new part. So then I added the five slot, which is this one, M lock rails to my site. I've added the seven slot, the nine slot, the uh, 11, I think there's 11 and there's a 13. So I have added these to the site. In fact, right here they are already packaged up and ready for you. So we got the 11, 11 slot. It comes with the two screws which you won't need for my bands, but I include these for people who just want the M-lock and the screws and the inserts for something else that's already set up for M-locks. All right, then I've added sling studs to my site. You can get them at Bison Workshop or bisonairriflesandparts.com. Then I've also uh, added the stud type with the insert, and all of them come with the white nylon washer. All right, enough of that. Let's get to the reason for this video. All right, guys. Um, 
I had to choose the uh, the Challenger uh, 30 cal because the butt stocks on my other uh, the M50 and the Pro if I push that button it would come all the way off this one won't and that was the problem I wanted to address was the fact that it won't come off so and that button pushed all the way so I've seen a lot of posts about how you get those off so I wanted to kind of show that so if you notice here let me see if I can get you a little closer If you notice here, there's a pin that goes through here. And when you push that button, it pulls that pin down and releases this pin right here that goes up in, in these holes. So you can put it in the middle there and move it, and then it snaps into the hole that's underneath there. So the problem that everybody's wondering how to combat is this part it won't come off with the button completely pressed well there's a reason for that because on the bottom of this you have a valley and you have to get past that little bridge that's around that valley so what you do is you pull that down take your fingernail and push down further and it don't take much just just enough to get it past that bridge that's underneath there so that's how you take that off so now I can press that it ain't going to come off so I reach up grab that pin push it down now I got it up on there just the way it is all right now this one I have a set screw in the bottom here that I tapped a hole so that I can tighten a set screw up against that buffer tube so that's how you do that so I hope that helps you guys to know how to get them off now some of those are a little difficult uh, that is hard on your fingers uh, but you can find anything to just push that pin down and take it a little bit further than what the button will go now on my m50 the aea tactical stocks those if i push the button all the way it'll slide right off so some guys are not having that experience. So apparently they have a different kind of stock made by a different company. Some companies may be where you push the button, it'll come all the way off. Some companies may have it so that you have to pull that pin down. I don't understand why they would make that so you'd have to pull that pin down. I don't know why they don't make the fork just a little bit heavier so that when it comes down on them pins, it, it pushes it all the way. So, but that's, that's how you get that, uh, butt stock off of your buffer tube. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. You guys have a good one. Later.